What's up people, this is a quick tutorial on putting ROMs onto your NES Mini. I've created a folder with everything you need and the link is in the description below, so feel free to pause now and download before we continue. So open the link, right click on the folder and choose download. When done, find the file, right click and choose extract to hackchi 2.1.1 with ROMs. In this folder I've prepared a mass of 829 ROMs to be loaded directly onto your NES Mini. A lot of mistakes or double entries can be avoided by installing clean suitable ROMs, so hopefully this will speed things up for you quite a bit, because you won't have to search for them yourself. To begin we must extract hackchi 2.1.1.zip by right clicking on the file and extracting it to a folder of the same name. Enter the folder, then the hackchi 2 folder and click on hackchi.exe. After pressing OK to the creator's hello message, we head straight to file on the top left and from there we navigate to add more games. We must find our way back to the ROMs folder we just unzipped. Open it, select the first one and then press Ctrl and A on the keyboard at the same time to select all. And finally, open. We are immediately greeted with an error message, but we just need to power ahead and press OK every time it happens. Similarly messages appear telling us patches are available for certain games and asks us if we want to patch them. For all, we select yes and before you know it, our 800 plus games are now in the left pane of the window. We must uncheck original 30 games before we continue. Next we head back up to file again and this time select download covers for all games. This can take some time while it does exactly what was advertised, but it's worth noting that it uses the I'm feeling lucky option from Google image search, so not all the images will be 100% correct. Don't get me wrong, they will do, but I've come across at least 10 that are either for the wrong console but the right game, or just don't look correct because they've been cropped. When it's finished this can easily be corrected however if you have the patience. Select the game you'd like to alter the image of and then Google on the bottom right. This will bring up a more extensive image search for you to select from. If you're still not happy with the suggested image view however, you can X out of this window and use the browse option. This will allow you to select an image you've acquired yourself elsewhere and load it directly into the program. The last step before we begin loading games onto your NES Mini is to navigate to settings and then maximum games per page. The default is 30, but I've mine changed to 50, as it's large enough that you'll have less folders, but small enough that you won't be scrolling for ages to find your desired game. Feel free to choose what you want however. When done, it's time to connect your Mini to your PC via the supplied USB cable, but make sure you have the power button switched off. Now we turn our attention to the synchronize selected games with NES Mini button. When the button is selected you receive a notification prompting you to dump your kernel. This must be done for you to continue, so select yes. Then another screen pops up with instructions of how to begin. If this is your first time modding your Mini, please install the driver before continuing. Then we follow the on screen instructions by holding down the reset button. While held, press and release the power button, but remember to keep the reset button held. When the on-screen prompt disappears, your kernel will begin dumping and the reset button can be released. If it is your first time modding your Mini, your message will look like this. But if not, may look like this. Either way, everything was probably worked correctly and we should press yes to continue. The games are now being transferred to your NES and regardless of the number of ROMs you've selected for each folder, the next step will be the longest. All the ROMs cannot be transferred in one go, you see. So the program will prompt you to tell you the same thing, saying too many ROMs. As indicated on screen, wait for the power LED to go out and then press OK. The instructions look familiar here, because they are. Hold down reset again, and while held, press the power button all the time holding the reset until the on screen prompts disappear. This step will have to be repeated many times, but stick with it all the way through for all those lovely ROMs. See, I told you it was slow. When it finally finishes, wow indeed, wait until the power light goes out again and then disconnect your NES. Now simply connect it back up your TV to enjoy all your new ROMs. 